So the minor pentatonic is pretty much the same as the major pentatonic. The bottom line, the difference is start the pentatonic scale from the note that you want to start it from. So if we've got an, a, a C pentatonic here, let's start it from C, so let's start it up here. Okay, so it's root, two, three, five, six, root. If we want to start a, 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 a pentatonic, we start that same, we, we're going to do a different position. So we're going from the E position to the fourth of it, because we go, when we're going to the left towards the fret nut, we go in string shape fourth or cage shape fourth. Okay? So when we're at the, uh, when we're at the E shape here, we want to go to the G shape here. Okay, we're not particularly going to the fourth there. We're going cage, so we're going uh, pentatonic scale. So C goes to um, E shape, rather, goes to G shape. So that's how we get to G. We're going, sorry, it's not the fourth of it. It's the pentatonic scale. Okay, so the, the next one after G would be A would be the fourth of the E shape. But we're going to go to the G shape, okay? So we're going to... Why we're going to the G shape? Because when you play a G down here, real deal G, real deal G, okay? The low E on your guitar becomes the sixth of that G, six, seven, root. So we're gonna play in a C, a G shape C. We're gonna start the A is the sixth, and here's your A minor pentatonic. Just follow a G shape. We got six, root two, three, five, six, root two, three, five, six, root. Whatever minor note we start on and just play the pentatonic inversion. So what inversion is A shape pentatonic? Well, root is root two, three, five, six, and the key of C is up here in the E shape root two three five six okay so the a pentatonic is going to be like you know one two three the fourth inversion of this okay so we're doing and this and this and this there it is there's our a pentatonic Okay, that's all it is. That's A minor pentatonic. So for the minors, we're looking at, and, and same thing with D and E, the same exact uh, logic works. We're looking at pretty much just playing the same minor scale, just like over here with the major diatonic, when we want to play the modals, modals, you know, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydia, Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian. Just simply follow the major scale, the diatonic scale, with the string shape stacked as, as such. Okay, and you know, it can be looked at as Chuck's good dog always eats Chuck, or going down, it's Ch Chuck eats all day good Chuck. All right, and it goes kind of in a circle. It's just a little thing I made up. It's pretty funny. Um, so, okay, I can't find the the chuck wagon dog picture. Um, so you'll just have to take my word for it. It's a dog named Chuck, and uh, his bastard name is Chuck too. It'd be like if I had a dog named Dandy. It'd be kind of kind of cute. So. Um, just like we start, just like with the pentatonic, with the diatonic, the same thing. We start the scale from the the uh, the scale degree that we want to start from. Diatonic. Now you can't have a Lydian fourth. Uh, you can't have a Lydian fourth pentatonic because you don't have the fourth in the pentatonic or the seventh. See, so there's no point in in worrying about that. 
Then we go over to major triad. We've got major triads, we got minor pentatonic. Now it's very important to realize that there's a slight adjustment to be made for the minor triads, and that is instead of five in the triad like root three five, we're gonna play root three six, and that's it. That covers all minors. That covers minors for considering the root to be the fourth which is really a, an F6, which is D minor, first inversion. And we got a, a G6, which is E minor, sec, first inversion. That's all we have to do to the string shapes is play the sixth instead of the fifth. So these are the triads here. You know, so if you wanna do a minor triad, in the D shape, let's say, we're going to start and just play the 3 there. We're going to go to the A shape, just play the 6. We're going to go to the E shape, just play the root. We're going to go to the C shape, just play the 3rd. Uh, and the G shape, we're going to play both the 6 and the root there. Okay? So that's, that's the name of that tune. And then the half diminished we have here... I don't want to like confuse you guys because the half diminished is something that you'll enjoy learning when you have you know some head space to do it. But the way that I derive the, the half diminished I explained before um, is that each minor key has a relative major. Here's the relative of the half diminished. Okay, so we use a pentatonic scale off of that Dorian, okay, but it's a mushy one. And that's our half diminished uh, pentatonic. So just when we hit the D, we're going to play the entire D string shape. Then we have just the 6 on the A, the 7, 2 on the E, the 3, 4 on the C, and the six and the seven on the G, and we, you know, we come up with this pentatonic half diminished scale. So let's do the diatonic for for the uh, B half diminished. Okay, and then from there, I think it's. That's your half diminished. Now let's do the half diminished uh, pentatonic scale starting from the D. So we got our half diminished here, so we know we're in the right box. It's going to be two, three, four, and then six, and then seven, two, and then three, four, and then six, seven. This is going to be a tough one. And then two, three, four. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Okay, that's the half diminished pentatonic in the D shape. Definitely in the D shape because it's got D on the bottom. Absolutely in the D box. The way that I voice that half diminished pentatonic, that is the, that is the shape for the D box. It's just going to be inversions, you know, like a little circle. You know, so when we started from the G box here, it'd be starting on six, seven here. So it'd be like that. G going to D, going to A, and then going to E shape. Uh, from A, we're going to the E shape, seven, two. And then C is three, four warped up. And then G shape, six, seven again. And then below the uh, A shape there, we have a full, this is fun, and then, okay, so that is your, that is your, um, your G shaped half diminished pentatonic. Now, next thing, next step is to take a couple more notes out. Notice we have, like, not many notes left. Okay, and by the way, I listed that pentatonic in, in, when we talk about the long patterns here. Not many notes left for the half-diminished triad. 
it's just 